There's one trick holding me back from this whole project being done. So in this video, I figured I'd talk about the when, what, where, and why I'm working on a video part right now at 35 years old. I'm turning 36 years old actually next month. It's pretty crazy. So I kind of want to dive into all of it while I set up a deck, set up a new board and kind of get into this whole project because I haven't really talked about it too much. I've kind of mentioned it in video. So first thing, we're gonna set up a new deck while we talk about this. I have a dollar bill I wanna put on this deck. So I have made other videos about this setup in the past, the same board, the trucks I'm riding the wheels. So I won't go too much into this setup. Today, we're just gonna talk about the video part I'm working on, when it's coming, all that good stuff. It is another uh, polar board, of course. It's an 875, so a little bit smaller than the 88. I'm going back and forth from the 88 and 875. One thing that I do need to do though, before I get too crazy into this whole thing, is I need to make a little window on my grip tape, like we did in the past. This time I already cut out a little area, so what I need to do is just line up the grip, kind of where I think it's gonna go. First, I'm just gonna make like a little marker. Just make a line. I probably shouldn't cut right onto the deck. Bring my old deck out, not worry about scratching up the top of our freshie. So for those that do not know, a video part is essentially kind of like a, a solo artist exhibit. Think about it that way. It's just like a bunch of curated art that they put together for one show. It's kind of the same thing for a skateboarder's video part. It's basically what it is. It's like a time capsule preserving a certain, uh, certain time, certain body of work essentially some of you might be wondering like why film a video part what is that versus like just youtube videos so yeah i've always worked on video parts this would be probably like my fifth one that i've ever made so originally video parts were just like one section of a skater's area in the video hence the name video part it's just like one section but now time's gone on it's just like basically just individual solo parts which are way more common now than, you know, full length videos, just video parts. So that's where they originally came from, but yeah. And that's basically what I'm working on. It's just like one one piece of work, one, one collection of work from the past six months, all for one video. That will probably only be, you know, four minutes at the most, maybe five minutes. I think mine will be like around five minutes altogether. All right, now we got our nice little, little window for our clear grip tape. That is right here. So. This will just go like that. Clear grip tape will just sit in there. So there are a few things that have happened since I originally started working on this project. Like I said, it's now been like six months and originally I wanted to get it out in like April. So it's been going and dragging on, but there's some reasons why it's been dragging on. There's about like three reasons. One, the first one is I just wanted to film it myself. That was originally the plan. Uh, about like two years ago, I filmed a video part where I just filmed it all myself because I felt like it was really easy. I didn't have to depend on anybody. I can just go out after work, before work, whenever I had time to work on the video. But as time's gone on with this video part, I just struggled with the concept of filming lines without somebody else. Without like, you know, a drone in the tripod. But a tripod with lines, is just boring to watch. I feel like you, you don't really want to watch that kind of footage. Looks like I'm a little off. I'm actually going to set it down here and work my way up. But essentially, I think lines and just like skating in bulls or backyard poles or even bulls at skate parks, whatever, even spots. Lines really show like a skater style. I think a lot more than like single tricks. You can kind of just see what they look like on the board a lot more. And yeah, I was just struggling with that. So eventually, I actually found a filmer to work with me on this project that I've been working with, which I will get into. So that was the first thing was just like, I kind of like got to a point where I was a little stalled on the video part because I just didn't know how to get the lines. And now I have someone that's helping me film. So that was the first thing. Now the second reason is I keep getting hurt. Honestly, I've gotten way more hurt with this video part, working on this video part, more than uh, ever, obviously, for any other video, for any video part in general. I think that's part of just aging. You know, my body isn't able to take things as, as well as they used to be able to take things, but I don't wanna make excuses, so I'm not gonna rant too long, but I've been hurt. There's been times where I've had to take like a couple weeks off. Uh, I think like 12, 13 days was the longest where I didn't like skate at all. Which isn't that long, but it's hard when you're trying to work on a video part. And when I got back into it, after 13 days, it's hard. Like you can't just go right back to where you were. I personally couldn't. I needed to like get back into the groove every time that I stopped skating. So every time you're down for like, you know, 10 days, it takes like another five days, six days, just maybe another 10 days just to get back into the groove that you were in before you had to take a break from skating. So yeah, getting injured is definitely the second reason 
why it's taking me a lot longer than I'd originally expected. Now the third reason, I don't wanna make too many excuses, but I am gonna explain why it's taking me longer. Why? It, maybe these are also the things I just didn't expect while filming this video part, as well as why they're, it's taking me so long, is uh, just daily responsibilities, you know, and long-term responsibilities. Uh, trying to be a good husband, you know, being a good partner, being a good friend, being responsible, getting work done, stuff like that. So those things have gotten in the way. There's house projects, other life events that need to be taken care of at times, obviously. So you don't plan for those things when you're working, when you're thinking about a project like this, and you obviously should, but yeah, I didn't do too much planning for that. I kind of just figured, oh, I'll just try to skate, get a clip every week. It hasn't gone that way. <laughs> So far, this is looking pretty good though. Better than I thought it was gonna look. The last thing I'll say that's kind of been unexpected and holding me back is just expectations in general. I kind of keep too many expectations on myself. I really want this video to be the best that I can possibly make it. So that's kind of like sometimes holding me back though. At one point I was like, I'm done filming. This this video is good enough. Now I'm almost like, you only use like maybe half the footage when I was at that point with where it is now. Could have done some more stuff where the yellow veneer is. But that's pretty cool. So eventually I started reaching out to people to see if I could find anybody to film me because it's kind of hard. I'm not one of those people that likes to like stop my friends when they're on the session to film me because people do offer. Of course I have friends that are like, hey, I'll film you, no problem. But I don't know, I've just never been super comfortable with like getting people to stop when they're skating and to work on a line and film something, especially for this because I want to spend time and really like kind of battle tricks or battle lines. Hence the reason that last video part filmed it all on tripod. But now my friend Matt, like I mentioned earlier, we've been filming for the past two months and it's been really fun. And now when I look at the footage that me and him are getting together, I'm like, oh, this just makes the video feel a lot better quality overall. And it's adding a lot more to it. I'm still using a lot of my tripod stuff in the video for lines and stuff. He just is such a great filmmaker. We've never worked on a project before. It's just really been fun working with somebody to film all the time. And he's super down, patient. I don't feel rushed or anything like that. And he really enjoys like the filming process. Like he's into cameras, stuff like that. And I think that's just changed the whole trajectory of this. And it really adds a lot to the how I'm doing it. Cause I think without that now, this project would be a lot different. Now, I did have a little list of tricks, basically, that I wanted to accomplish for this, and we got through that list pretty quick. And now, I'm at a point where there's one trick that's kind of hanging me up, holding me back from this whole project being done. And I've tried it a couple of times now. It's one trick on a specific obstacle, and I just can't land it. I keep slamming every time I try it, and then that takes me out, like I was saying before. Then I gotta wait, regain my physical ability and then mental ability to try it again. So that's pretty much where it's at now. Once I land this last trick, I will be happy, so happy. The video will be done. Now we can get into the, the why. Now this next thing might seem like a little bit of a negative, but I see it more as a positive. I don't know how much more I can improve my skating as I get older than I am right now. And that's not to say like I peaked and it's all downhill and it's tragedy from here and I'm never gonna learn anything else. I see it kind of as a positive almost. It's like a sense of relief. Like I think ever since um, I learned backside inverse, especially felt like I had done a lot of the tricks I really wanted to learn. And now I just want to make sure I can like preserve them. But now it's also good to like get a video part because their chances are I'm not going to be able to do all the tricks that I can forever and then another thing is I'm not going to have like every trick I know in the video part I just feel like I need to preserve it because of that I don't know how much better my skating will get and like I said it might seem like a negative but I think it is a positive thing it's just kind of acknowledging where I'm at I'll be super happy to just maintain things for years to come don't get me wrong so yeah I think the reality is I'm going to try my hardest to film the tricks that you know I feel like I'm capable of doing right now all the hardest tricks like there's been a few that i have done that i don't even think like a year or two years ago i would have been able to convince myself i can even do i would think about them but i want to be able to even try them and do them if that makes sense and now i can actually do them so i don't know where i'm going with this it might all sound like super like egotistical too like look at me i'm so good and I, i'm going to show off my best skating but i don't know that's kind of part of skating is, is showing off a little bit you can deny it or accept it i'm just excited to 
have the opportunity to have the platform on YouTube, obviously, to host this video too. I don't know when exactly I'll be done with everything. When the video will be out, it really comes down to this last trick. You know, ultimately, I do want to just inspire, get other people hyped at any age to go film a project, work on a project, whether it be skating or anything, really, like whatever you're into, you're never too old. To my point earlier, like I will probably, hopefully in the future, film video parts as well. Part of me feels like this might be the best that I can do. But you know how that goes. I can't predict the future. Nobody really can. Definitely been trying my hardest while working on this video to really preserve my body. So I've been doing these mobility workouts, which I'll do another video on once we're done with the video part, kind of talking about what I've done to maintain my body just for like overall health. Uh, I've done chiropractors now, which I've never done before. I did chiropractic and the daily just mobility workouts I think are helping. Cold plunging, I've been doing cold plunging mentally and physically good for you. It's not fun. Now, I just got to uh, get my rails on there. I've been still having that problem with rails. The last one's ripped off. I was running one rail for a while instead of two. And I think part of it is because they're higher. The bone ribs are higher than some of the other rails. Like I really like pig rails because they're so low profile. The thing is they just wear down so quick. I like the ratchet because you can like really countersink your hardware. All right, deck's all on there. Now I just gotta get my rails on there. else I totally forgot to mention in this video is I actually took out my bearing spacers not my washers but the spacers in between each bearing because Ben DeGross actually made a video about it and I won't go into all the technical aspects of why I think it's actually better without the spacers but I started writing them more and more recently because you guys mentioned it actually saves the bearings it's a better way to maintain your bearings but he went into it basically if you have looser wheels which I like a little bit of looser wheel when you have some wiggle room then there's no point for the spacer there's more uh, to this I'll link his video down below if you're interested in it but essentially I took them out board sounds so much better I'm really hyped on it as far as like when this video part is going to be done i really don't know like i was saying earlier i'm hoping within like the second or first week of july I still gotta wait to get some super 8 film back make sure you subscribe to see that video hit that like one i love y'all mesh <laughs>